Hi everybody, in this lesson we're going to learn a new note on the flute called F. F is written on the top line of the staff. And to help us learn this note, we're going to use this really great app that I just found out about. If you go to fingercharts.com, you can find this app that's called Finger Charts. So I have it here on my iPad. I downloaded it. It's free. So we open up the app and you can see in the middle there's the name of the note. Uh, in this case, I have B flat up here on the app. And if you look down from that, you see the staff where the note is written on the staff. And what's really cool is you can slide back and forth with your finger to pick whatever note you want to figure out the fingering chart for. So let's slide that over to F. And right now it says F flat, that little lowercase b symbol. We're going to uncheck the flat button. And now we have just F. So we're looking for plain old F at the top of the staff. So now we look at the fingering chart, which is the little picture of your flute home keys. It's like a little diagram of the buttons on your flute. The home keys or the buttons that are colored in or filled in, those are the ones that we want to press down. And the ones that are open or not colored in are the ones where we want to leave our fingers not pressed down. So looking at our chart, we can see our left hand. We have the thumb pressed down. You can see that little uh, thumb button colored in. Then your fingers on your left hand, remember this key right here we never press. This is not a home key. We start always with this key right here. So we press that down. We have our thumb, first finger. Remember our home keys on our left hand. We always skip that second key. That's not really a home key. We go here. That's our second key. And here, that's our third key. So on our left hand, we have our thumb, one, two, and three. Then on your right hand, you have just your index finger pressing down on the first home key of your right hand. And then we can also see, if we look at the chart, that the little pinky E flat key is pressed down as well. So quick review on your left hand, thumb, one, two, three. On your right hand, just one and the pinky on the E flat. And if we play with a good band face and good posture, we're going to get the note F. So if you're playing your F and it sounds low like this, that's totally fine. All we have to do is adjust our band face a little bit to get the high note. We're going to make the air hole, the hole that we're blowing through, a little bit smaller by closing our lips just a little bit. And we're going to push our lips out away and toward the music stand just a little bit like you're going ooh. And that's going to pop your low F up to a high F. Check it out. So keep practicing that F. I promise you'll get it if you work on it and practice it. A great way to practice is with our whole note exercise, which we're going to do next.